Welcome to another recipe. My name is Samuel from the Yes to Life show and today we're making a super easy and delicious breakfast recipe which is a bowl made with flax seeds. And today we're not using chia seeds as a lot of recipes do but we use flax seeds because flax seeds actually have a very similar nutritional profile as chia seeds but in Germany for instance they're local so they're way cheaper than chia seeds. So actually they have a similar nutritional profile than chia seeds. They're high in omega-3 fatty acids, they are rich in fiber, they have protein, um, well all of the good stuff that you want, right? So today we're using flax seeds for that. To start with I take half a cup of ground flax seeds and I mix them with one cup of unsweetened soy milk. If you don't like soy milk you can use another type of milk, oat for instance, but the soy milk has a little more protein that's why I use it. And at this stage I also add cinnamon and one tablespoon of peanut butter. If you want to give it more protein, add your favorite type of vegan protein right in here. And now you leave it to rest for 15 minutes. And what will happen is that the flax seeds will uh, take up the milk, as you can see right here. This is after 15 minutes and it just gets a better consistency. And after that step, I just top it off with stuff I like. So this is for instance uh, fried coconut chips here, walnuts, pumpkin seeds. This is a puree made from uh, blending blueberries. Um, you can add cinnamon, more milk more peanut butter, whatever you like. Take your favorite type of fruit or seeds or nuts. It's really up to you. I just want to show you how I do this. So I add the flax seeds to my bowl. And as you can see, it has sort of a porridge puree type of consistency. The longer you let them rest, the more they will absorb the water and the stickier they will become. Now I take the coconut flakes and I make like a line in the middle of the flax seeds. These are roasted coconut chips, so they're very nice, a chewy consistency and a strong flavor. And I add them right in the middle. And then I add my blueberry cream on one side. I didn't find fresh ones. If you like fresh ones, just use uh, these instead. But uh, basically I took frozen ones and I blended them up with a little bit of water. And now I add them here for color and fruity flavor. And then I top it off with some walnuts and then a couple of pumpkin seeds. And if you like, you can add a little bit more peanut butter on one side or any type of nut butter that you like. I really like peanut butter, so I go for this one. So there you go, that's it. Super easy, very healthy, and you basically get to decide what are your favorite ingredients and then you add them in there. So I hope you did like this recipe. If you did, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. I thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.